What we took for granted was only a figment of our imagination. After experiencing an unprecedented pandemic, how should we derive new ideas and put them into practice? In Vision of the Future this year, we talk with top Japanese executives as we envision the shape of a new society together with our viewers. This time, we're putting the spotlight on this person. First, I want to ask you about the current state of your company. Last fiscal year, you reported record profit, and this year, you're also forecasting record profit. And your business remains extremely strong. Our business has long been focused on automotive components, and in terms of the automobile industry, demand for new cars has slowed quite a bit because of the semiconductor shortage last year that's continued into this year. Even under these circumstances, the aftermarket components that our predecessors had built up in the past proved to be very strong. The high profitability and large sales of aftermarket parts have supported the company's sales base. In addition, new businesses such as electrostatic chucks and others in the non-internal combustion engine sector have expanded. These businesses have resulted in our highest profit this time and I believe that the company is moving in the right direction. Over the next decade or so, how will NGK Sparkplug develop these key areas, these new businesses? For instance, in the medical field, we plan to promote a technology we've already developed, our oxygen sensors for use in respiratory equipment. In fuel cells, we have been working on ceramic solid oxide fuel cells for a long while now and are preparing to commercialize the product. It is used to generate electricity from hydrogen, but we can use natural energy sources, such as solar, to generate electricity to produce hydrogen. We can produce hydrogen, and by methanating it together with carbon dioxide, convert it back to fuel. We want to expand these initiatives in carrying out our energy business. We'll identify several core businesses in this way, and expand related businesses in the future. Society is changing at a very rapid pace, and it appears the future awaiting us is undoubtedly one of change. Given this situation, what's your idea of the role that NGK Sparkplug should play? Until now, we've been able to grow tremendously because of our internal combustion engines based on carbon dioxide. Our company has continued to this day because of that business. So we believe we have the responsibility to more aggressively take on the challenge of achieving carbon neutrality and protecting the environment. So, going forward, our activities will likely be linked more closely to the environment and related to that, improving the living environment of people, whether it be the medical field or energy. We hope to launch such new businesses in these areas. I understand that the company name in English will be changed to Nitera next April. What's the reason behind it? The company's English name now is NGK Sparkplug Corporation Limited. It is the same as the product and brand name Sparkplugs. But as we enter a transitionary period, moving away from internal combustion engines, we want to project a new image. The company's new English company name, Nitera, is a coined word, which combines the Latin words niteo, meaning shine, and terra, meaning earth. We decided to make this change with the aim of realizing a shining earth and the determination to also restructure our business portfolio. In April of last year, you implemented a new company structure, and in April of this year, you adopted a new HR and salary system. From the outside, it would appear that there's a very strong will to transform the company. We've long been engaged in spark plugs for internal combustion engines and developed wonderful products. Our network of talented predecessors who nurtured those products is what has supported us to this day. 
How should I put this? Unless you shake things up, take big steps, it's quite hard to enact change. The new company structure we implemented is originally the idea of our founder, Morimura, who believed that a single company should have a single business and work hard to make money. This structure also segues with the idea of becoming professionals. So rather than relying on internal combustion engines, we adopted a company structure with the idea that each business should be run independently and secure its own profit. And now that we have a company structure, the HR and salary system must offer commensurate compensation according to the performance of the company or the effort of individuals. By that point, we had already decided to carry out extensive changes, including the salary system. So, in answer to your question, we did this with the idea of moving away from what we had been doing, and this may sound extreme to some, but we wanted to break down everything we had been doing, to wipe the slate clean, and to take a new step forward. In the company's long-term management plan, you have the slogans, beyond ceramics and exceeding imagination. What's the idea behind them? Our core competence is ceramics, after all. But we're not stopping there. With ceramics as our foundation, we want to go beyond ceramics and build a vast business structure that includes everything surrounding ceramics and contribute to society. Beyond ceramics refers to completed products aside from components, as well as related services. It's quite difficult for people at NGK Sparkplug to realize that, if we stick to our old ways of thinking. So we want to encourage people to go beyond conventional thinking. We have to expand our imagination beyond just ceramics, manufacturing, and making things, and take on the challenge of realizing the next innovation. That's what we refer to as exceeding imagination. I've heard that the colors green, red, and white represent NGK Sparkplug's approach toward the future. We refer to the green and red as the colors of our corporate image and have made them into our company colors. NGK spark plug is the red and ceramics the green. As various companies are established from now on, we want each to have their own color. And as they become independent, we want them to show their colors. We want them to paint the white part with their own color. We want each company to have the will to succeed and choose what color it wants to be. That's how we explain the white part of the logo. I understand that you constantly talk about the importance of the word will. What's the philosophy behind that? Where there's no will, there will be no action. To take action, you need a will after all. The will I'm talking about is about whether you can envision that what you're doing will contribute to society and go out into society. If you're only saying yes to what your boss tells you, the only new ideas will come from the boss's head. But if each person has the will to do something and the general direction is the same as that of the company, that will become a very big driving force. I want people to have that will to change. And that's why we say, change with will. Change with will. I tell my employees that in making a change, you need the will to change. Finally, would you offer a question to our viewers? Yes, I want to ask, what color society do you want to build? And why? This is the theme I would like everyone to think about. What color society do you want to build and why? Let us know your opinions and suggestions on the question raised in the program.